How to create this floating effect in DaVinci Resolve. First install your camera on the tripod and make sure you shoot at 60 or 120 frames per second. Make first shot of clean background without main object and second shot with your object in front of a camera. Make sure your object is not moving up and down or left right for better results. Now grab your footage into DaVinci Resolve. Here we have a clean background clip and the clip with the camera. I'm gonna select second clip and change speed to 50%. Now place your clip with an object on top of your background clip. Select both clips, right click and new fusion clip. Now go to fusion tab. Delete two merge and one background nodes because we don't need them. Now drag your media in one node into the viewer to identify which is a clean shot and which is the object. Press F2 to rename it and connect your clean node to media out. Select your node with an object, hit shift space bar and type magic mask. Click on this little dot to see the mask. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Now choose mode to better and select your object with a little dropper. Hold option or alt key to remove parts you don't need and hit track. I'm gonna check every frame to make sure the camera strap is not visible. Ok, it looks good. Now select clean node and type merge. Connect magic mask node to merge node. And we can see that camera is separated from the background. Now we need to create a fly-in effect for our object. For that we are gonna use a transform node. Select transform node, hover a playhead to the place where animation ends, go to inspector and create a keyframe on size. Go to the beginning of the clip and set size to 0. Go to spline editor, Select your keyframes, hit S to ease keyframes. Well, now we need to create an out of focus effect and for that we will use a Gaussian blur effect. Select transform node, shift space bar and add Gaussian blur. Go to 30th frame, create keyframe on strength, go to beginning and set strength to 0. Go to Spline Editor, select your keyframes, hit S to use keyframes. I'm gonna go back to edit page to see a smooth playback. Ok, now select Magic Mask node and add drop shadow effect and add just a little bit of shadow to it. And now we are gonna create a warp distortion effect. Select clean node, shift spacebar and type drip. Go to beginning of the clip and create keyframe on phase and set dampening to 1. Now move your playhead to 22nd frame and set dampening to 0. Go to the last frame and set it to 0.3. And phase also to 0.3. Now is this keyframes with spline editor. Let's take a look what we have. Ok, now select drip node and look up for lens distortion effect, which is available only in studio version, but it will look great even without this effect. Go to beginning of the clip and set distortion to 0. Go to the last frame and set it to 0 0.5. Go to spline editor to ease keyframes. Now let's see what we have.
cool. Now let's add a little bit of motion to our background. And let's also add some blur to our background so it looks like out of focus. Around 0 0.26. Looks nice, but I would like to shift warp effect a little bit so it appears a couple of frames later. And I will do it with the keyframe editor. Let's add a little zoom to our composition in the edit page. Looks nice. Now let's color grade our final footage. Go to color tab. And I like to use this Tumbo's sign print 16 film look. And if you are interested, you can check it out using the link below. I'm gonna reduce film grain and add vignette to our clip. That's just a personal matter of taste. Now let's have a look. Let's add some cool sound effects to it. And this is what we have. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content. And if you would like to support this channel, please visit my store to download some cool presets for DaVinci Resolve. See you soon!